everybody, Ruben Cohen at Lurson Mastering, and today I want to talk about high frequency limiting in the mastering chain, also known as DSing. You can see we have the Masalek MDS2 here, and I use it on almost everything I do. And sometimes mixers say, hey, does my mix really need DSing? And most of the time the answer is no. I'm not using it for that. I'm using it as a way to broaden the signal, kind of warm the signal even, because it works all the way down to 2.4K, which is really the mids. So it's affecting everything in the mids up into the highs, which is really warming uh, down below as well, because everything's always interrelated. And uh, it's a great tool so you can EQ into it and be sometimes a little more liberal with how you open up and brighten EQ into it, kind of working in juxtaposition to clamp back down on what you're opening up into. If you don't have the analog unit, you can use uh, something in the box. A lot of times I like using the FabFilter Pro DS. Uh, you can see here that I've got the bottom of where the range is all the way down to 2.4 for the same reasons. And you can tinker with the threshold and the range to taste based off the mix at hand and the level coming in. Um, what you're looking for is to not darken the signal, but just to really broaden and warm the signal. And you'll find if you use it post EQ that you can be sometimes a little more liberal with how you brighten up into it because it catches as you brighten. So it's a great tool uh, for just that. And I uh, hope you enjoy it out there.